Okay, now we're on the phase two. And that is to figure out where the high side is, where we need to get the water drained. So first step, this is a laser transit. If you don't know, it's basically to figure out grade. Uh, I'll kind of go through it a little bit. So first things first, get this set up. And then we're gonna find the highest point and mark it with an H. And then from there, I need to measure from the corner to where it's gonna go into the woods. And we need to figure out about, about an inch for every 10 foot for uh, a drop. That way we have a nice flow of the water to get out of this area. So go ahead and set this up where it can read wherever, no matter where we're at along this edge. I'm gonna guess the high side's about right there, but we'll see. Okay, so this one I've never messed with yet. Normally there's a bubble to get somewhat level, but I don't see a bubble anywhere, so. So we're just gonna go by uh, what it looks like. Now the whole point of this is to be able to slide up and down to see where it's at. And basically, there's a laser that spins. Okay, now it's spinning. So that's high. That's low. That's dead on. So that's what we're gonna look for. Ooh. So that's two nine. So basically I'm gonna go along the edge here. So the lower the number, the higher the ground. So that's what we're looking for is the lowest number and go from there. Okay. All right, so now that I found the high spot, two foot nine, I now need to go on this side and find the lowest spot. And then we need to walk it out, figure out the distance and make sure we have an inch at least every 10 feet to the high side and then from from the high side down it should flow pretty uh pretty good since it's got a four foot drop but we still want to make sure that we have flow from the lowest side to the highest side High side is over there. It's also uh, about the same distance over there. So what we need to figure out, because once we do this first ditch, we're gonna do a second one along this east side. That's the south side. But we need to get water away from this first. So we need to do the south side first. Once that dries up some, we can do this and get even more dry over here. But what we're looking for right now is water spots. Because that indicates the lowest. Now what we also have to do, just looking at some raccoon tracks here and some deer. But what we gotta do is figure it out from here. Might have to move those trees or move the laser. 
But if we move the laser, we will have to reset. So, see a water spot right here, and uh, see if the laser can uh, read it. Might go jump in the razor. And... <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Yeah, this is this is definitely probably the lowest spot here. And it is at three foot where uh, I got it placed. So according to this, it is right at four foot. So we need to dig that down at least a foot just to be level with the, the ground right here. And it might be even deeper. So we're probably gonna start with about, I don't know, two foot, if not three foot deep over there. That'll give us a good base for the ditch. And that'll definitely drain this down and let, want it to run to that corner. And then from that corner, down the south side, uh, it, it is probably deeper than a foot from there. But I'm not going to walk that far into it. And this is definitely the deepest part of all this. So that's our baseline is at least a foot deeper than level over there or where the ground level is right now so uh what i'm gonna do is go over there line up with that over there and i'm gonna walk to that corner and see how many yards that is so just need to count how many steps over to there and i think i'm gonna go over there where it's dry out and walk it found my found my lowest point which is only a foot lower which would not make sense because this until recent few years would not get standing water like this so it's just uh, over time probably going around this corner and that way it probably just kind of built up enough dirt over there where it kind of blocked this water in so it's just you know pulling a disc and uh and plowing and everything dirt just kind of gradually moved around the corner so but we're gonna fix it get this done right okay so i'm even with this so i just need to walk straight to the edge and that'll tell me how many yards I have. Okay, so I just walked that out. So now I do know how many yards it is. I'm not gonna tell you guys I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys guess in the comments and if you guys get it right I will pin it to the top so put down in the comment section how many yards you think that was and I'll pin you first correct answer now what I need to do is do some math Okay, I'm going to make this real easy for those paying attention to the rest of the video. Because I'm about to mark how many feet we need to go down to get the correct fall. Okay, so now that we know there to there and have the correct fall, now we need to go from there to there and at the end of it I know I have four foot of fall 
So I really don't have to go all the way. I just need to go until it starts to drop back off. Sun's almost setting, so at least I get this knocked out today. It's the same uh, same day as ripping all of this out. And I did pick up a pole saw, borrowed one. So a lot of these tree limbs are gonna end up getting trimmed up too. Okay, so we got five foot in the corner. Every 40 yards is gonna be a foot deeper that we have to go. So I got it marked six foot. Now this ground is level with that over there. That's why it's six foot deep. Also the 80 yard mark is also level. And because of that, it's gonna be seven foot deep because we gotta go down one foot every 40 yards. Oh, that's the high. There's the 80. So mark seven foot. Now we need to go to 120 and see what it is at. All right, here's 120. So we need to measure this and see where it is at. Okay, now we're at 120 and this shows four foot. So it's one foot shorter than the last one. So that puts it at the same seven foot deep. And now we'll go to the 160 and do that math. See how deep we need it down here. Uh, this, this is where it's probably going to start getting shallow. Maybe like a three foot ditch down here instead of seven foot up there. So I'll we'll measure this. Sorry, I don't have my chest uh, mount or head mount. So it's kind of hard to uh, record and do this. Okay, so we're at the end here. This is going to be four foot. Uh, give or take uh, It really starts to drop off right here Because that four foot's Just shy of the five foot right here So that's a matter of a foot drop and I don't know 15 yards So uh, that should be it And uh, the next thing is these tree, tree limbs. Okay, that's gonna be the end of the this video. And then next up is the tree limbs. And you can see the edge of the field used to be there. And he's getting hit with the tree limbs on the combine and the tractor. So I'll try to fix that. So as I'm walking back up here to put everything back up, Head on in for the night, do some editing for you guys. Just wanna thank the people that do subscribe. And I know this was probably one of the most boring videos, but it is part of the bigger project that I'm working on. So kinda wanted to include it uh, to let people know, you know, how it actually does go down. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. The ones that do, and especially the ones that made it this far. And if you're not subscribed, if you made it through this boring video, uh, might as well uh, check out my other videos. And a lot more entertaining, a lot more action, tearing down trees. So, thanks guys. I'll see you guys next time.